This is the third and final video about our MIDI functionality on our pipe organ. Um, I'm back here at the main screen. Um, when you originally turn it on, you get there by pressing preset function. Um, when you're getting out of another song, you just hit done and then hit yes. Takes you back to this screen here. So um, I'm going to scroll down using my jog wheel. I'm going to go down to load song file. And I th think you press uh, press play, press press yes. Okay. Uh, and I want to get out of this folder. I'm still in the Hegarty folder from the last video. So I press on the jog wheel where it says plus dot dot, and that's going to take me back to this. So I'm going to go into the classical folder here. This is where a lot of the stuff that I have loaded in uh, is going to be sitting. So press down on the jog wheel. It's going to open that folder. I've got a Mighty Fortress, Adagio, a lot of Bach. Um, it doesn't show the whole titles, unfortunately, because in the back of all these, I have the composer's name in parentheses at the very end. So it's too bad you can't read them all. So uh, let's do um, let's do this Hungarian dance number four. Okay, so um, it says at the top, push dial to open the folder, but push yes to open the file. So Hungarian dance number four is a file. So I'm going to press yes to open it. And since this is not a pre-built um, MIDI that was that was you know provided by the manufacturer this organ doesn't know exactly what to do with it it's not formatted exactly for this organ so it brings up this little menu here and it wants you to select the file type um, I, I highly 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 recommend using your jog wheel to go down to Allen MIDI what this does is it takes the MIDI file the MIDI notes you know, so it's it's just taking note data but it will apply it to whatever stops you have chosen up here, okay? Um, which is probably what we're gonna want. Uh, Vista will not do anything. If you choose that, it will say there's an error and it just can't read it because it's not a file that's made for this organ. And general MIDI, you'll be at the mercy of whatever, um, whatever instrument the original file creator used I guess so if if they uh, I downloaded these from the internet so if they used a piano MIDI it's gonna sound like a piano uh, it won't actually come through our pipes on our organ so highly suggest you go here to Allen MIDI just scroll down and hit yes and what that's gonna do is it's just gonna take the note data and it's going to apply it through whatever stops you have chosen on the console here now there's a few problems with this it always loads it in at tempo 120, which for some songs is fine, but for some it's too, too fast or too slow. So we're gonna have to kind of listen to all these and decide what tempo you think you want it to go at. So I've, I've not listened to this one, so I have no idea. So I'm just gonna press play. And go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to pause. So right now it's playing through the pipes that I have chosen. So to kind of demonstrate what we've got here, I'm going to just cancel. I'm going to cancel all of these. Let's turn them all off. I'm going to press play. So we're not hearing anything now, but it is playing. Oh, it started over, so it won't play for the first four measures. Um, but we're not hearing anything because we don't have any pipes chosen. So uh, let's let's turn on some pipes. I'm going to start on the swell here. So. Okay, and then we need some in the grate. Let's turn the pedal. And then the positive. And then we can choose some some pre-built. So all these files are going to be slightly different. Um, in, it, you can hear in this one, it's sending some of the notes through the swell, some through the grate. It's got some through the paddle. Um, some MIDI files that you're going to load in here are not formatted like that. Some will play everything through the swell. 
and there, it won't even use the pedal and the grate and the positive. Um, so you, you just have to kind of experiment with what you have and, and play around with it. For that reason, I don't recommend pulling any of these up without pre-listening to them and just playing it on Sunday morning because I really have no idea what they're going to sound like. Like I said, I just, I just downloaded these you know, free from the internet. Um, but again, just like we did last time, we can adjust tempo. So if that's just too slow, I'm going to press down where it was, it was flashing on 120 for tempo. And now I can turn the jog wheel and we'll turn it up to like 160 something. Okay, now if we play... stop it there okay and uh, so there's the Hungarian dance if we want to get back and choose another one we just have to turn our scroll wheel till it moves the little flashing cursor to done and then I'm gonna press yes and it's gonna take me back to this screen you scroll down to load song file hit yes and then you're in I'm back in this uh, classical folder and we can choose a different one so here's a choral the chorale from symphony something um, so I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit yes. I'm gonna choose Alan Mitty, and hit yes. And uh, so it's gonna play with the same presets I had, the same stops I had loaded from the last one. But you should notice it's also at 120 because they're all gonna load in at 120. But let's press play. <laughs> cancel and let's just see what's happening on all these so it doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like this this one has anything coming through on the grate nothing coming through on the positive nothing coming through with the pedal so here's an example of one where it's only coming through on the swell so oops So there you go, kind of the basics of how to run the system. I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions, just reach out, and I will do what I can to help you. All right, good luck.